Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Here's what we got for you guys today. We're gonna shoot some 308 rounds. Um, no, we're not the first ones to do it. I know a lot of people have shot the um, AR500 armor. This stuff is a quarter inch thick. It also has a spalling coating on it. Um, but we're gonna shoot these different rounds. We made some homemade uh, ballistic gel here. Let me tell you, if you really wanna make your wife mad, Try making four and a half gallons of this stuff in a clean kitchen. Um, it did not go well, but we got it made. Here's the rounds we're gonna shoot. We got these training rounds here. They're just plastic, but they, or a polymer, but they travel about 4,000 feet per second. We just wanna see what it looks like on the high-speed camera. Um, we also got the regular FMJ 308 rounds. We got these newer ones here. These are the M80A1. These are a steel core. Um, then we got also the uh, regular armor piercing black tip rounds. Then we're gonna set it up and uh, do the 308 slap round. These travel about 4,000 feet per second. And that's why we have two plates. Hang <laughs> tight, here we go. <laughs> went over this. First round today is the 308 training round. Because of the wind, we're going to be a little bit closer on this one. <coughs> Put her in the chew hole. All right, let's check this out. Again, that's just a training round. So you can see here, it took the coating off, but did absolutely nothing to the plate itself. All right, so we're going to step these up. Full metal jacket uh, ball round goes through. We're just gonna put two plates and shoot the rest of them. So hang tight, here we go. Oh, well, we're gonna do the 308 ball round next. Clear. All right, that was pretty cool on the slow motion there. And the other two camera shots, hope you like those angles. Uh, so here's what it did. Did a pretty good dent there on the back. And, but this stuff will definitely save you from a, uh, a regular 308 ball round. So now we're gonna step it up and try the black tip armor piercing round. All right, here we go. 308 black tip armor piercing. Clear. All right, that was really cool. Um, as we thought, the 308 armor piercing round went right through the quarter inch. Also penetrated into the ballistic gel all the way through it. That slow motion was awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do now is double the plates up and see if uh, black tip armor piercing 308 round will go through two plates. Here we go. Here we go again. Black tip 308 armor piercing through two plates. Clear. All right, let's check that out. It did not go through both plates. Um, no bulging on the back that I could feel, but let's check this out. Here's down where Nate shot, but let's take these plates apart and see what they look like. Cause I think it went through the first one and stuck in the second one there. It did because these are kind of hard to get apart. Ha, there you go. 
So there's the second plate where it kind of lodged in there and then mushroomed the projectile right there, the steel projectile. And then there's the entrance. Okay, we're gonna leave the two plates together and we're gonna try the M80A1 now, so hang tight. All right, here we go, M80A1s. Clear. All right, here we go. Oh, did it make it through? Nope, did not make it through. Basically half inch of AR500. Still, it did a nice job on the entrance here. All right, let's take it apart. See if we can get it apart. So basically it just made just a ding on the second one. No bulging on the second plate. Of course, both the armor piercing and these M80A1s will blow right through quarter inch AR500 like nothing, but all right, there you have it. But we're still gonna try two plates with the slap round, so we're gonna get set up, here we go. So for these slap rounds, we gotta take the muzzle brake off because of this plastic sheeting will come undone as soon as it comes through these holes and we don't wanna blow that apart. So we're gonna take the muzzle brake off for the 308 slap rounds. Also with these, these are a military grade round and a lot of the issues were is they would turn sideways and come out the side of the barrel. So they weren't always shooting accurate. So. Hopefully that won't happen to us today. Ready? That hit dead on. All right, that was awesome. Nate hit dead center here, and folks, it blew right through this, right through the gel, and kept on going. Let's take these apart, and I don't think there's gonna be much to see, but let's check it, check it out. So the 308, look at that pretty hole. The 308 slap rounds will go through a half inch of AR500 as well. All right, check that out. There you go. Just made a mess of that. Can you imagine that thing ripping through you? Ugh. It would tickle a little. Yeah, <laughs> right before you fall dead. <laughs> Well, everybody, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Um, we got more 50 cal stuff coming your way. We got one inch AR500 coming, and we got some inch and a quarter titanium coming where we're gonna see if that can stop the 50 cal slap rounds. Um, that was pretty cool. I'm glad we did this gel. So again, I wanna thank Moab Manufacturing for letting us shoot on his property here. Hit his link down below if you guys need anything. Email Justin, he can make all kinds of things for you. Paint. Laser engraving, I've told you before, he can do it all. Pick up a t-shirt from us so we can continue doing some of these cool tests and uh, videos for you. You guys have a great day and we'll be back. <laughs>